Happy Good Friday to you. We read in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. We'll be able to remember all of that with a concentrated effort this weekend. Tonight is our Good Friday service. It starts at 7 o'clock. We'll be combining with Faith and Oakfield and First for a time of remembrance of the Lord's death. And we'll be meeting around the communion table. And I trust that you'll be able to join us for that particular service. We'll have overflow available. If the sanctuary gets full or you get there late, we'll probably have you sit in the north wing and we'll live stream the service there. On Sunday, we're having two services at 9.30 and then at 11. We'll have overflow available on those services as well. And remember, if you choose to sit in the north wing, you'll be rewarded with snacks. So you might want to do that and make a little extra room for some of our visitors for that particular day. Now, as to the theme for Sunday, well, that's not hard to figure out. It's the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But every event has a context. It has a before and it has an after. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, I already know the context. It was the death and the burial and the resurrection. But there's a much larger context to the resurrection than we typically think about. And I'm going to challenge you to think about the theme of resurrection from the time of Job to the time of the ultimate resurrection. That's why we make such a big deal about Easter Sunday. It's the resurrection that matters for time and eternity. And it has past, present, and future implications. So if you can't join us in person on Easter Sunday, I hope you'll join us online as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Have a great day.